So we're in Dias, Arkansas. I'm going to do the Johnny Cash Boyhood Home Tour. It says it's uh, established in 1934 with President Roosevelt. Named for W.R. Dias of Luxora, became home to 500 families stricken by the Great Depression. Selected on the basis of need, farming, knowledge and physical fitness, these pioneers, pioneers each cleared land for farms with the government subsidised help. Of 40 acres and a mule. 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 A mule. And the Cash family was one of those. So we're going to have a tour now of this, just this uh, visitor centre, it used to be a theatre. And then go out in the bus to the cash home. There's Johnny Sue, he wore it in a 76 Boston Tineo Farm suit. See, Dice was built during the Great Depression. Yeah. Or the Roosevelt's New Deal. So back then there was a farm on every 40 acres. All through this country. Right, so. okay, yeah. That's amazing. And Tommy Cash had scratched his name in the door because he ran the projector as a teenager. <laughs> Tommy Cash. There were two of those up there. So Tommy Cash, youngest sibling. Boss. Carved his date and Boss. carved his ah. name. <laughs> Lots of snakes. Into the projector. <laughs> So are these kids around now? Uh, Nowadays, um, nobody's nobody's come forward and said that's me. Uh, yeah, we'll get them. Now we have a concert next month. And that's who's coming. Oh, it's got a side of the house out here, and that's what the guitars are from. All the artists that's in our concerts autograph them and they just play them. Shane, you want your? I know. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, this is for the old little cinema. Obviously, the screen was down there. This wall's been put in since, obviously, because the projection was from the other side there. Well, it gives a brief, brief chronological history of uh, Johnny Cash. So they play a little, play a little four-minute film before it starts, showing the restoration of the home. And the family going back to see uh, the results of the restoration. And our main crops here now are rice and soybeans. Used to everybody grew cotton. Yeah. We transitioned mostly to rice. Rice is the number one crop in Arkansas now. Oh, okay. In fact, we grow 54% of all the rice in the United States. So this is the 40 acres that the Cash family would have owned with a house there. So Johnny Cash, 1932, 2003, was one of the most influential musicians of the 20th century. Successful with country rock and roll, folk, blues and gospel music. Cash sold over 90 million albums during his long career. Several of his songs reflect his hard scrabble farming youth. That's a new word on me, I've never heard that one. Hard scrabble. Hard scrabble farming youth in Dias Colony, where locals knew him simply as JR. That's a smokehouse. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
of with course. Their smoked meat. Lovely. So how long would they keep smoking meat in there for? That's a good question. I have no idea. Uh, I think all winter though. You'd be curing it and drying it out and the smoke would play with it. Yeah. They had so many skills. <laughs> Oh, luxury, look at that. <laughs> I do. Awful. Must, you can't imagine, can you? Oh. And so many people said, well, we had a two-seater, and I always think, why do you need a two-seater? Yeah, two <laughs> <laughs> you just never know what's going to be in there with you either, do you? No, I had one lady, she said, I always took my brother because we had a turkey that chased us. So. <laughs> oh, a turkey would be the least of my problem, my worries, I think. <laughs> What's, what snakes do you get out here? We have what's called, we call cotton mouth or yeah. water moccasin, same thing. Yeah. And that's the most deadly snake here. And uh... Are they common or...? <laughs> Dias Town Hall. Now it serves as a, a little museum and exhibition centre. There's different rooms in there. It's got uh, a room explaining how um, Dias came to be in 1934 as part of Roosevelt's New Deal programme. Brief history of uh, Dias and the hardship, hardships it faced, such as uh, the floods. 1937 flood I think it's got a picture in there showing uh, one particular flood where the whole surrounding area seems to be flooded apart from this bias circle here there's another room then with uh, which they call the cash room which is uh, stories and pictures of the cash family coming to dais at the in dais it's also got then uh, a little section in there dedicated to Johnny's older brother Jack in the film I Walk the Line it shows that Jack died in 1944 he was in a in a mill or shed he had an accident with a circle of saw uh, where it, it slipped and it basically went into his stomach and he survived for eight days and died later and well, died eight days later in hospital but in the film I Walk the Line it depicts that event and that scene was actually filmed inside this building here no guide told us, which is cool. So a bit of movie movie trivia here. Huh? No, then doesn't look as if this has been used since that uh, <laughs> since that scene was filmed in here. Actually, yeah, that was here filmed in Dias. Uh, there's also another section then uh, with uh, his. Uh, trunk that he when he was in the armed forces and uh, his trunk and his part of his uniform that he left with his um, left in the house when he left his first wife Vivian and uh, that's on display here as well donated by the family so the completion of the original dire circle would have been the commissary which was situated here on this uh, I believe this foundation here I believe that would have been it I don't know it was also called the co-op store, trading post or the big store. This building carried everything colonist families needed. It burned in June 1957. Uh, it's $10 per person uh, to come out to it, to go in the museum, to take the bus out of the house store, to, to view the uh, museum and exhibits in that town hall. 
ten dollars is well worth a visit to come out there's a bit of a drive to get here it's not really near anything it took us about 50 minutes from memphis um but well worth it highly recommend it